On the way, why not celebrate a little bit and get outdoors? Today, Grant McComey takes us on a two-for-one expedition out in Tillamook County. The Salmon River is a sinuous braidwork of channels and sloughs that thread their ways toward the sea across a broad estuary of grassy marsh. It is a place worth a closer look. The Forest Service has just completed the groundwork for their new Salmon River Interpretive Trail. Fine place to get out and stretch your legs just off Highway 101 near its junction with Highway 18. As you can see, they have plenty of picnic tables and a fine trail as well as a stunning view. Rugged Cascade Head rises to meet the sky, while down to ground discover trails less traveled this time of year. I like the shortest, on a height that measures a mere mile and spans U.S. Forest Service land to reach nearly 300 acres of a well-known nature conservancy preserve and a view that takes the breath away. This is soft light, which is really nice. Few deny it's one of the finest points of the Oregon coastline. Don Bess says it makes him feel young again on a day too nice to be indoors. The capes that stick out and all the, the breakers hitting the capes and the blue water and everything, it's beautiful. It is gorgeous and a fine estuary expedition you can make any time. While just 12 miles north, another estuary invites you to explore from a different point of view. We see bald eagles, red-tailed hawks, osprey, the bird life out here is just phenomenal. The Little Nesteca River cuts a beeline through the Nesteca Bay National Wildlife Refuge. This passage is so easy anyone can try with local guides from Kayak Tillamook who cater to beginners. Some days this is just chop city down here. Lots of wind on this. So we've got the latitude to go upstream. We can, we can go on up into a different environment, use the, use the tide uh, to carry us up and bring us on back. We wear layers and light rain jackets, caps and gloves too. A life jacket is mandatory as safety comes first. And we follow our guides as flocks of geese wing past on their way north. Birds, geese, waterfowl, you can hear them in the background as you're paddling. In a kayak, you're much less intrusive than a car. You can get pretty close. They're not really frightened away from you. As a paddler, I seem to glide with the incoming tide as it moves along. The Little Nesteca River is a timeless trip and easygoing adventure. It is really the best of both worlds because you're seeing the land from the water as opposed to seeing the water from the land. So it's a much more intimate experience. You really feel like you're in nature. In Tillamook County with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.